Hi Joshers and welcome to another episode of Jeezy Box. Today we're going to be continuing The Conjuring with The Nun. So The Nun is of course the entity uh, that we started to deal with in the second Conjuring movie. That was the one that uh, Mrs. Warren, the wife, uh, that she was having all these visions of and it was coming out of the painting and stuff at her. Like Nun Origins. We actually go back uh, to an old monastery, you got nuns, you got priests, you got uh, some idiot from a French village who's gonna be a guide or whatever. I don't, I don't know. It's called an idiot by the nun at one point, which is kind of funny, even though it's really scary. So this one's kind of a weird movie. Like, I mean, they go deep into like the catacombs and find the blood of Christ down there, which does end up leading to a really cool scene. If you haven't seen it, don't watch what I'm about to say because I'm going to spoil it. The nun, when she spits the blood of Christ by tricking the nun, we're on full demon mode, nun. Gray, huge, and horrifying, and uh, picks her up in the water and thinks that it has gotten the blood of Christ away from her, uh, still contained within this little glass thing that they find it, uh, find it in. The girl had, uh, she had used her head and she drank the blood, well not drank the blood, she kept the blood in her mouth and then spit it out onto the nun. You know, no nun can handle, no demon can handle uh, demon blood, or, and of course no demon can handle uh, Jesus Christ's blood being spat into their face. Makes sense. Like that makes sense. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good one. I like this one because I like the, uh, I like the uh, monastery side of it. I like the nuns and the, which is different because even though in uh, Annabelle, when I watched the Annabelle movies, I did not like the nun thing. It, it wasn't because of the nun. The nun wasn't the issue. I just didn't like watching a little girl die in the first three minutes of the movie, and then just the rest of the movie is me just worrying that the uh, orphan girls are gonna die. That's not fun for anybody. In The Nun, though, it's all they're all adults, you know. We're talking nuns, priests, and then uh, just random French people. And uh, it's the, the nun is scary. So I believe in the records that were kept, the entity is not a nun in The Conjuring 2, and is in fact more of like an ethereal kind of black shadow thing, which does kind of line up more with what I've heard about, like, true demon stories, not manifesting in a physical form of none. They went more for the pop factor on that. So this story, I believe, is completely fabricated. Six weeks of spooks continues. Uh, Spooky Box is going to go into Insidious and those movies, which are, you know, of course, spearheaded by James Wan. So The Nun, I would give it a watch. I thought I thought it was pretty, it was pretty enjoyable. It's got its cheese factor here and there, uh, but it's, it's pretty good as far as modern horror movies go. There's not, there's nothing like terrible in it. Um, it's not super gory, I wouldn't say. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a good watch. Why dress like you when you can wear me? Thank you.